Greetings, everyone. We're doing a completely random PC game of Tohovania. It's like Castlevania, except you can fly. And I has... don't get the relevance whatsoever. Why combine Castlevania with Toho? Because. Because. <laughs> because. It has a really great soundtrack. <laughs> I don't understand this title at all. Well, it obviously says Japanese character, Japanese character, Japanese character, Japanese character, Japanese character. Oh, you missed it. Hi, Marissa. Does it mean the video seem corrupt? A little bit. By the way, I'd like to thank the person who's. By the way, I'd like to thank the person who's playing this for us. Andrew, introduce yourself. Yep. Hi, it's me. This random nobody. Well, hey, you're here, so. One of the characters has a whip. Huh, that's classy. Well, it is a Castlevania style game. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean you have a whip. I mean, you could just have a sword or a fucking axe or. It's the most like, iconic Castlevania weapon. You could punch with giant fists of stone if you really wanted to be, uh, you know, a bit of a maverick. Hey, well, is he it, spitting it, out the Kirby stars? That's what? Marissa's special move, I think. Huh. Yeah, that's her summon, and if you get, get, get that during the first boss fight. Huh. <laughs> I am digging the I'm digging the visual quality of the game, definitely. Definitely gives me a lot of Symphony in the Night vibes, well, in terms of overall animation quality. The uh, vampire's <laughs> eyes are huge, they're going to eat my soul. <laughs> <laughs> Gameplay. It's Hi, getting Ray. worse here. Hi, Raymu Hakure. Does oh, he have? Oh, oh god. That's a girl. Wait, that's a girl. Oh yeah. no. Oh, oh, I should have oh, been able to no, tell. Oh no! Oh no! Crescent pale mist flashbacks. Ugh. Please just kill me now. I don't want to think about that game. Bang. <laughs> Wait, the any doves are enemies. That what? poor bird. <laughs> The doves are enemies? Oh. It's like the rabbits in Fable. Why are you killing those things? They're because not... they're in the way. <laughs> I do love this game just soundtrack. The, the dove just exploded and dropped a grenade. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so how hard is this game supposed to be? Well, it has Toho in its name. I think that's pretty much uh, self-explanatory. So, as we advance in level, more doves will fly at us to the point where it will be <laughs> <laughs> Bullet doves, yes! Hey, uh, just because you can fly off screen doesn't mean you should. That makes for a very boring commentary. Just say. Wait, are you flying below the screen? <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue what happened there. I was trying to de 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 demonstrate that you can't fly through, through, through the, the stage, stage and I ended up glitching somehow. Hmm. Can you fly I... at any point? And can you fly at any time? Yes, it's unlimited. Yes, huh. yes but you can only fire at the direction that you're facing now. Now, so you can't go like, like fire back and forth. No, you have to keep firing in that one direction only. So you can't strafe, basically. No. Okay. Well, you can, can fly up and down. F, F, F. That's your, your, your idea of strafing. It's basically... You, 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 you can fly in any direction you want, but you can't turn your direction. Fate, you While you're in midair. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's stupid. But, uh... All right, so it's pretty much the whole flying aspect is the Toho part kicking in. Really, it makes you wonder why the hell they even bother including ground... <laughs> elements. Well, you obviously weren't going to get into a castle where you're a bit more confined. <laughs> yeah. In fact, yep. I'm surprised you're not flying over everything now. Right now, we're playing one of the shitty outdoor sections from Order of Ecclesia, I assume. Seems that way. Which probably means we're going to pass through the same area six or seven times. Uh, can you fill your health back up? Or are yeah, there like are health, health items. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But they're rare. Okay. Set. What are the red soul-like things you're picking up from enemies? 
That's your uh, that's your uh, ammo for shooting your cards and summon. Oh, so they're pretty much this game's hearts. Yep. Essentially, yeah. Okay. And here I get a one up. Yeah, Where's you have that statue. <laughs> that statue is you? taking way too many hits to destroy. <laughs> I'm and sorry. And the one up is a take it easy face. <laughs> Uh, Can you dangle that? your whip by holding down the attack button? No, not in this game, I think. Hi, sir, no. I will cryo-freeze you. It's the nine. <laughs> Ellipses. What is it, sir? <laughs> Why are you- are you not frozen with terror? Not you? really, I, ah! you know. <laughs> um, is she angry? <laughs> I have no idea, actually. Can you open us a path? <laughs> Yeah, the English in No. Well, why not? No. <laughs> wow, that is the lamest anime sweat drop I have ever seen. I was going to say, I'm not digging the emoticons to express emotion. I'd rather just have different portraits. It looks like they were drawn on with a marker by a five-year-old. <laughs> this means she's angry. And this means she's sad. And this means emotionally conflicted. <laughs> Awesome face. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a bad translation. I think the entire dialogue is a bad translation, mostly. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <You're not funny. laughs> what is that even supposed to be, the yellow squiggles that's, there? That, that's the best comeback ever. I'm not making fun, because you're not funny. <laughs> you know, with this dialogue, I'm expecting what in Ronald Wakefell at any point. Hey, Marissa. I like how she just teleports out of nowhere and he's like, hey. Does you speak it? Yeah, really. Well, these are going to be our two summons for the game. Scarlet Fog, Crescent Pale Mist, get out of my head. Uh. Ah ha ha. Just behind him. Huh. still here. <laughs> I don't get the angry when you've got the little vein there when she's got her mouth open like, yay. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Does this have her forehead? Does playing the other Toho games make this make any more sense? You get their characterizations uh, no. a bit better, but no. <laughs> Well, this translation totally lacks any sense of localization, so- Oh, random boss fight. And now we're fighting her. Yeah. Why? Why? Yep. Because boss. <laughs> Isn't she supposed to be our friend or something? No one likes her now. Oh no god, this plays just like a Crescent Pale Miss boss. Uh, You're gonna be referencing that a lot, aren't you? <laughs> I, how many people here have actually played the game I'm talking about? No. Not me. Well, if it's okay. a game you played, then no. <laughs> Let me put it this way. Every level in the game, except maybe the first one, has some absurd obstacle that you will be stuck on for six years before you figure out the incredibly specific trick that you need to pull off to get past it. The, then why the do you play this the game? The highlight... I don't play this game. I stopped when I hit a certain level. The highlight of my playthrough was also the place I stopped playing. Alright, there's this one obnoxiously long pit at the beginning of this one extremely obnoxious level. In order to pass it, you need to get an enemy and use this really painfully hard to pull off infinite double jump jungle trick to get across the pit with this one enemy. So, it's like... I... Why? Just why? I get that you're trying to be some retro, old-school, extremely hard Japanese-style platformer 2D game, but 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 there's a point where too much is too much, you know. <sighs> we, we just finished beating the shit out of her, and we just expected her to just turn sides and like, okay, come on, let's go. <laughs> but she didn't promise that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> that emote supposed to be? I don't get it. Defeat Thomas, means what, friendship? It's like that. It looks like the five-year-old with the marker had a seizure. That, that, that's all I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> stilted dialogue is stilted. Tell me it's, about it. It is a fan translation, so... I get that. It's just, even if the... Even if, 
I don't know. The way the cutscenes are handled in this game are pretty damn awkward. I think Castlevania does a much better job. Well, this, is a, this, this is a freeware game, so. Yeah, but these games get an awful lot of praise, and this is like 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 obscene amounts of praise. I get, I, 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 and again, like I mentioned earlier, I think I think what would have definitely helped during these little cutscenes here was having different portraits expressing different emotions. Instead, yeah. you have the exact same image representing every other thing, except we have. Oh, these stupid little emoticons that are supposed to express when a character is angry or, or sad or confused or frustrated. Oh, I'll put it this way: Trauma Center, which is a series that I like. Oh, never mind. I'll just I'll just rant next part. 